Hello there. Welcome to the setup tutorial for our mini Orange LDAP Active Directory login for cloud and shared hosting platforms. To download the plugin, please navigate to your WordPress dashboard and click on Plugins. Click on the Add New button to install the plugin. Search for LDAP Cloud. In the search results, click here to install and activate the plugin. Once the plugin is activated, it will appear on the dashboard. Click here to proceed further. To configure the plugin, first you need to register or log in with Mini Orange. Please register with Mini Orange if you do not already have an account. If you do, simply click on Already Have an Account. To log in, please enter your credentials and click on Login button. Once you have logged in, please click on Plugin Configuration button. You can either use Mini Orange Cloud LDAP Gateway or Mini Orange On Premise LDAP Gateway. To use Mini Orange On Premise LDAP Gateway first, you should have done the LDAP Gateway setup. Our plugin is compatible with all the different directory servers available. For the purpose of this setup video, we will be using the Microsoft Active Directory server. The plugin supports connecting to your server using either the LDAP or LDAPS protocol. Please proceed with entering the LDAP server hostname or IP address. Proceed with specifying the LDAP admin username and password. Scroll down to the LDAP user mapping configuration section. The search base you mention will allow the plugin to search for users under that search base. Please specify the required search base or organizational unit. Proceed with selecting the username attribute. You can select any of the mentioned attributes. If you want, you can even add an extra attribute by clicking on the Extra Attributes checkbox and entering the attribute name. If you wish to enter the custom search filter manually, you can do so by clicking on the switch. Here, you can specify your attributes in the given format. Click on the Test Connection and Save button. If you get this error message, Please make sure you have whitelisted our IPs in your LDAP server. And, if you do not wish to whitelist our IPs in your LDAP server, we suggest you to use our Mini Orange LDAP Gateway. After whitelisting our IPs, you will get this success message on Test and Save Connection. To test the LDAP authentication, scroll down to Test Authentication section. Enter any username and password of a user present in the Active Directory, and click on Test Authentication button. Once you have successfully tested out the LDAP authentication, proceed to the Role Mapping tab. Role Mapping allows you to assign a specific role to the LDAP users that log in. To select a default WordPress role, please click on the drop-down and select a role accordingly. If you wish to set a specific WordPress role to a specific LDAP group, please enter the LDAP group name where those users are present and assign a WordPress role by clicking on the drop-down. You can do this for multiple LDAP groups by clicking on Add More Mapping. You can specify the attribute that stores group names to which the LDAP users belong here. The default LDAP group attribute name is member of. You can change this according to the group attribute name present in your Active Directory. Click on Save Mapping button once this is done. Scroll down a little to test your role mapping configuration. Please enter the username of a user present in your Active Directory and click on the Test Configuration button. On Successful Configuration, you will see a Test Successful pop-up. Close the pop-up and scroll up. To enable role mapping, click on this checkbox. If you do not wish to override the existing user roles, please click on this checkbox. To proceed to the attribute mapping, click on the Next button. Our plugin allows you to configure multiple attributes. There is a list of default attributes you will need to fill in. You can choose the default display name of the users by choosing an option from the drop down. You can also add multiple custom attributes present in your Active Directory if any. Simply write the custom attribute names you would like to add and click on the Save Configuration button. To enable the attribute mapping, please click on this checkbox. Now, click on the Next button to proceed to the Sign In Settings tab. Simply click on the Enable LDAP Login checkbox. 
This will enable the users who are present in your Active Directory to log in to your WordPress website using their LDAP credentials. This feature allows you to automatically register users into the WordPress database when they log in. This option allows you to log in, both LDAP and WordPress users into WordPress site. You can choose to redirect users to a specific WordPress page immediately after they log in. Enabling this feature will protect all the website content by login. You have now successfully set up our WordPress LDAP plugin. Let's log in the user into the WordPress site using the credentials stored in the Active Directory. Enter the username and password and click on Login button. You have successfully logged in to the WordPress site using the credentials stored in the Active Directory. Let's check out additional features that we provide along the plugin. In the Troubleshooting tab you can find the Debugger Mode and FAQ section. The FAQ section has answers to the common questions we receive. If the question you have is not present here, please feel free to contact us. Here, enabling this allows you to view the various configuration statuses of your plugin. Click on the Debugger tab to view the configuration statuses. We provide an array of add-ons that work in perfect congruence with our plugin. If you are interested in any, you can contact us. To have a look at the premium licensing plans we offer, make sure to click on the Licensing Plans button. To take the full featured free trial of our premium plugin, please check out the description.